Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Sunnyside. Find harmony in the Japanese countryside as you help Sparky uncover lost memories in this modern take on the farming and life simulator. I don't know who Sparky is, by the way. Build a thriving homestead, cultivate new relationships and chase your own happiness in Sunnyside. So this is a cozy farming, dating, socializing, anime themed RPG. And it has a pretty fantastic character creation system. I am very excited to jump in here and show you guys what's available. So hey, join me. If you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all there is to discover about Sunnyside, you can find some links below. And as always, there will be timestamps. It's going to be a bit of a weird one because it's actually quite a big system. But I think I've figured out a decent way of navigating it. So hey, let's jump in. Now, first things first. Male and female customization will all be together. There is a section here at the start that's mostly about the upper body. So basically the head customization. After that, there will be some body customization. Then there will be cosmetic stuff for the body itself. So the outfit. That's the plan. And at the end, we'll do some randomizing. And I'll share my thoughts. All right. All right. Let's get started. So for the face, firstly, you can turn the camera and you can sort of look at it however you wish. But you have a few sliders. I'm going to make the skin a little darker so that we have a bit more contrast with the background here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why they put us against this like uh, yellow hedge or whatever <laughs> this is here. But um, yeah, OK. So here's a nose slider up and down nose. Then you have the size of the nose. It's basically the width of the tip of the nose and the nostrils and stuff. Uh, then you have basically the, I think you call it the crook of the nose. I'm not actually sure what the technical name is, but you lift in the bridge or you sink in the bridge. Uh, then we have the bridge itself. All right. Then we have the tip. You can make it bulbous or <laughs> you can make it sharp and pointy. It's interesting. Uh, and then you've got the, the well, the lower bridge? I, I don't know, man. There's, there's a technical name for it, but it's this part right here. Then you can do the mouth stuff. Uh, this is actually kind of nice. Uh, <laughs> you can give a character like a frog mouth if you'd like to. It's not bad. I, it's not. I like, I like a big mouth. Okay, I do. I have a big mouth, so I, I like a big mouth. And then you can make the lips bigger and smaller here as well. I'm not sure this is the best color. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's definitely the best color. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's a little hard to see what's going on. It's actually just the lighting. So I want to I want to point that out while I'm here. Uh, the lighting in the character creation system specifically right here is not great. It's just not great. Uh, when you're actually in the game and you have your character moving around there, it looks way better, uh, which is weird. But uh, yeah, so that's the mouth. Let's move on to the chin and jawline. Quite an important section you have here. This is the forward backwards. Uh, this is the size of your chin itself. You can make it sort of pointier or squarer. All right. Uh, this is your jaw line. That's <laughs> yeah, you can go. It's, it's a pretty big one. You can go pretty, pretty wide on it. And like overall already, uh, this is like, this is a good amount of customization, right? There are sliders. Like that's great. Uh, this is, I, I think this, you'd call this the jowls. Um, this is the weight that you have on the face. Right? There's a complaint I have coming up in just a little bit where you can't really put much weight on your character's body. Uh, but I think you're sort of playing a role here. Uh, so they don't want you to be too weighty, I, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, and this is the height of the, of the chin. Right? So that's the basic stuff for the face. Then, as you may have seen here already, you have some options for skin tone. Uh, it's good options. Like, I, 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 I chuckle at the, at the lighter ones because, like, everything disappears. It sort of makes it into, like, one amalgamation of features. Uh, but it's only, again, because of the lighting. I, I would personally take the pale skin tone. I would do it. And um, it'll look fine. You can also put some skin details on. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty light and it goes pretty dark. And the main reason for it not looking good here is just bad lighting. It's poor lighting. And that's why I am going to stick with one of the... Let's take sort of... Let's take this one maybe. Like this one over here. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, let's do that. Then we look at the skin details, right? So uh, this is eye shape over here, which I find kind of weird because I... I there's, there's no... <laughs> okay, move it, moving on. Moving on. The eye, the eye shape's actually over there. Skin detail slot. 
this is basically beauty spots and freckles so you can you can pick and choose and you get two different slots with the same options in uh, for those that are perhaps not seeing it it's right there you got a little spot there it's kind of hard i had to check for a moment uh just before i started the video to make sure my monitor was clean because i kept mistaking it for uh, beauty spots <laughs> but um you basically have a modest selection here of uh, decent options and yeah I mean, I like the freckles. I'll, I'll put them on and I'll leave them on. And you can obviously look at them on the different skin tones. Uh, when you have a darker skin tone, it makes the freckles lighter for you automatically. And it looks kind of nice. So, uh, yeah. There you go. And then you can do it twice. Same options. You can do it twice. We will leave the freckles on because I like them. Now, this is the biggest section for me. Uh, this is my favorite section. And this section shows true love and care for the game the guys that made this game yeah some of them they had a thing for hair <laughs> they wanted to add a lot of cool options and they succeeded uh yeah guys you did it all right fantastic work <laughs> you, you you gave us way too many options and they're all really good thanks but seriously it, it's it's really cool there's a lot of hair here and it's all so goddamn anime i love it i love it it's unisex. It's all just like male, female, whatever. Dude, doesn't matter. It's hair on the head. That's what it is. As I start here, I want to say a few things. Okay? <laughs> because this is where things get a little weird, right? When we start using colors, which is right now, I want to just put a little color preview in here. Okay? So, this is not the start of the hair section yet. This is the color section. I want to show you how the colors look. And how they work so basically the idea is you have slots right so on the hair you have two color slots you can see it's two different browns here and you can quite clearly see on the head how it works right so if i take the second one and i make it a little bit darker you see how it works right okay so two slots nothing out of the ordinary there but you have full rgb here to sort of fiddle around you can change the hue and saturation uh, and it, it works quite nicely. It's quite a decent system. But then on top of that, you also have a selection here of, of basically preset colors. They have pastels. And, and, and this, these are pastel colors. This is, again, well thought out, well picked, well curated. Like, the guys that made this, they know what they're doing. They care. They did it right. Okay, these are good colors. So you can pick and choose these. And they look fantastic. They are just great serving suggestions for your character, right? Awesome. Awesome. But then, as I said, you have pure colors, which is just the slightly harsher ones, right? Dark colors, which is the same ones, but they took the, uh, the brightness quite a lot down on them. Natural colors, which is your grounded in reality selection, uh, minus the reds. They don't really have any really nice reds here. Uh, but it's still a pretty nice natural selection. And then they have eye colors here. Uh, yeah, it's for when you get to the eyes, obviously. <laughs> but but you can use them on the hair as well. Uh, nothing's stopping you. So that's the way this works. Again, you have full control over it. So you can legitimately just go wherever you want. Say you want a nice yellow and you want it really bright. Boom. There you go. You can just drag this around here if you want to, to do it in that manner. But you've got full RGB. You can you can legit just go anywhere you want. Uh, you will notice that they have a bit of a limiter. I'll call it a limiter on the black. Uh, you can't go like black, 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 black. But you can still make it pretty dark, as you can see there. Because if you had it like pure deep, deep black, uh, you would see nothing. Uh, it would it, it would be all encompassing. So yeah, the colors. I mean, they're beautiful. Look at this. Just just just, just look at it. Look at that beautiful color. And with it being an anime game, you want beautiful colors. So there you go. That is the color section out of the way. I'm going to stick with these pastels because truly, I think that they are phenomenal. Uh, let's go with something cool like uh, those two, right? Uh, maybe something a little bit more impactful. Let's take color two, a darker one. There we go. So you can sort of see where the split is. Now, with the color section done, we are going to move on to the hair and all the other stuff. But now you know how the color works, right? Okay. So brace yourselves, there are some really cool hairstyles here, All right? There's a bit of a pop in when I click, so don't judge it before it pops in completely. Uh, I love the way that they've done these. I love the way that they've done the afros. Uh, I love the way that they've done the detail, but also simple 
style, you know, they've got enough detail in there to make it look like what it looks like, but they didn't add too much to make it look ridiculous or to detract from the experience. I also like the way they've done the hair physics, where it is, uh, it's sort of a more modest approach where they don't really go for uh, full hair physics. They just make it sort of, you know, jiggle a little bit here and there. Uh, it's just to give the hair a little bit more life. You know, and they've done it phenomenally. Now, now, uh, as I said, brace yourself. There are some really cool hairstyles here, for real. Uh, they've got some straightforward standard ones, but then they've got some like really loud ones. They've got some really cool messy ones. Uh, they've got all the cliche ones that you expect to see in the anime shows. They've got the kill. Ah, it's not the kill manga exactly, but it's close enough. They got everything, right? They have everything, and all of it looks phenomenal with this cool cell shading that they have here. Um, all of it looks great with basically everything they've done. And you will notice that a few of them uh, don't have multiple color slots because they have instead got the accessories in them. So just note that when you see this happen and it's all brown, then just know that there's a reason for that. All right. But just look at this. Look at this. Like we're not even halfway yet. So many cool styles, man. So many. Like, you can really go out of your way to make something quite special here. And you best believe that it'll cover whatever you want, you know? They've got a lot here. They really do. And again, I, I mentioned earlier on, like, this... Oh, look at the jiggle physics on the goddamn afro. Just jiggle it a little bit. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Uh, and as I mentioned, like, you, you'll, you'll find something you want here. You'll, you'll be able to sort of make a character you're comfortable and happy with. Even this, man. Like, like, just looking at this hairstyle right here, this is not something I've seen in a game before. You know? I, I mean, I feel like this afro is also... Like, I've seen this, bef but, but, like, the way that they've done it here is pretty unique. But, like, this? It's not a style that I've seen pulled off quite nicely in a game before. It's just kind of new to me, you know? And that's, that's exciting. It's really cool. So, yeah. Uh, look at all of these, and then think of all the different possibilities that you will have with customizing these. You know? Because there's so much you can do with the different colors, different combinations here. It's, it's super. I'm proud of these guys. I don't even know who they are, but I'm proud of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a little disrespectful. Uh, I should go and look quickly. I'm busy looking right now. Uh, it's called Rainy Games. Rainy Games, you guys, thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up. You done did good. If any of your artists ever watch this, Jesus. Go and tell your bosses that Lumen, the character creation specialist, says you deserve a raise. Alright? Alright. It's really cool. I love it. This is a cool style. Check that out. Look at that. Never seen this before. I've seen this style before, but I've never seen it in a game before. Never seen these mad lads actually pull it off. Crazy. That's a cool one. I like that one a lot. Very nice. I like how they've done the messy hair, as you can see over there. It's like it's like a solid a bit of hair with some strands that stick out, and they move individually as well. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Jeez, man. It just keeps going. Look at that. That's kind of nice as well. That's almost the Sombra. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's the Killmonger! That's the Killmonger, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out, huh? How cool. Oh, that's great as well! That makes me feel a little uncomfortable for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's kind of nice, though. I don't know, it's just like, it's like, like I'm feeling tentacles, you know? Something like that. I don't know. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Uh, and again, the fact that there is so much for everyone here is just uh, yeah man it's great now i'm gonna want to pick something quickly that shows everything off as in like let's not obfuscate our our entire face let's take something like this one yeah why not why not perfect again though keep in mind you have all the color choices here you can legit just do anything you want with it and there are uh, no wrong answers where that's concerned you can sort of you can mix and match to your heart's content. All right, the eyebrows. This is something that I accidentally left out of the main video while I was recording it. I was just having such a good time, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I realized immediately that I had left it out. But 
it's better because I've got a boyish looking character here to do the eyebrows and the beards on. And that's fantastic. Eyebrows, I'm going to have to actually hide the hair a little bit here for this just so we can get a better look at it. There we go. They're pretty cool. Uh, they they have a, a, what feels to be a little depth to them, just a little bit, and <laughs> they have some pretty radical designs here. Again, very anime, you know, it's sort of something that you expect from this type of game. Uh, you can change the colors on them, I'll leave it on this for now. It works the same as all the other colors. And then the facial hair uh, is, honestly, it's pretty impressive. Look, whenever a game is sort of like anime based or a little more Asian, in nature with its presentation I don't usually expect all that much from the beards just because uh, I, I hate to stereotype it but it's generally how it works the characters tend to look a little younger uh, and their their faces don't support the facial hair very well and I guess thus they just don't pay too much attention to it when they implement it but hey uh, I'm happy to say that this one breaks the mold a little bit and I'm happy about that it's cool to be able to show something nice off here that said I'm going to try and pick some colors that sort of match the uh, the the set that we've got going on here right now. Make it a little lighter. It'll be around there somewhere. Yeah, that'll that'll do for now. It's not exactly the same, but it's fine. Let me show you the the facial hair. There's some cool stuff here, and I personally love how they've done this double. Uh, I think it's 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 a really neat and tidy style. It's better than putting like a, a stubble texture all over the whole face. It's a it's a a very smart way of making it look a little more neat and tidy this right and the beards they look good yeah i like the texture work on the on the facial hair that they've done simple and satisfying it's the way you should do it it really is when you have this kind of art style it's the way you should do it there's some cool stuff you can do with these i know that a lot of the different hair combinations will go well with some of the different beards that they have here it's not the biggest selection and you can't go too massive on the beards like this is basically the biggest you're gonna get this one and this one but they look good they they truly do look quite good and again you can change the colors any which way you want uh, and like if you put it with a with a different hairstyle yeah you you can sort of you can get some coverage you know you can get some real coverage so i'm impressed by it i'm impressed by it now we're going to jump back to the other character into the main video again right all right now let's move on to the eyes so, eye shape, uh, this is, okay, <laughs> this is the eyelashes, right, there's some different configurations over here for it, I like them a lot, I think that they're incredibly well done, some creative stuff here once again, but it's not a huge thing, like it's sort of an extra, the eye shape, uh, again, very anime uh, in their choices here, they don't have all the expressions, so they're not giving you your expressions here. You get those in the game when, you, when you're actually using your character. This is your default sort of state. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you select in. Then once again, uh, you have the colors. You can do anything with all of this. So I recommend going eye colors and then picking something from this list. Uh, maybe to make some nice looking eyes. But I mean, geez, really the world is your oyster once again. So that's the eyes. Now we have accessories. Uh, we basically have neck, glasses, and then piercings, right? Let's look at the necklaces first. I'm going to make them a little darker so we can actually see them. Uh, let's go to pure colors. Let's just take black. So I'm thinking there should be another slot. No, these are like silver or something. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's just the string. I'm changing the color of the string. Jeez, dude. The amount of detail. It's a nice little crystal. I can't zoom in any further here, unfortunately. Very cool. I, I even like the selection of, of necklaces that they have. I'm not usually even a fan of jewelry, dude. I, I don't do jewelry in games like this, but I like this one. So I'm going to go for this one. Next up. Glasses. With the glasses, we're definitely going to change the frame color. Uh, that's That has to happen. We'll make it dark. Yeah. And then the other color. Oh. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right very interesting you can actually change the the shade of the lenses there are some nice glasses here they they really have all of it covered uh i would have liked some more wider brimmed ones but i think they are down here no not really these are all too trendy for me there we go that's the one but but no i'm not going to select any glasses for now 
Uh, again, keep in mind you can take any of them and then you can put, as you have seen, a color on the frame and you can actually apparently put a color on the, uh, the lenses as well. It's, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. For the purposes of the video though, I'm going to keep it off. Piercings. So you have three slots for piercings here. Let's just start on this. I'm going to make it black so you can see it nicely. That one's on the nose. Lip. Lip. Eyebrow. Two in the eyebrow. And we've got the ears over here. There's even a bar for the ears. Yeah, man. Like, this is, this is really impressive. Like, you don't see games usually doing this, you know? You don't see games basically going all out and just having, like, every single imaginable choice. But, you know, if you're making a social game... If you're making a game that's about the character and the characters and their appearance and everything else, yeah, you're going to do it. This is the same as the other year stuff, just on the other side. Uh, it makes sense to, to go all out. So the idea, again, is that you have three different slots for this, and you can put three, any three you want on. Right? Right. That does bring us to the end of the head customization. We're going to take this lady now, and we're going to jump into the body stuff. So as we are here in the body now, as I mentioned before, there are a few things that I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, so, firstly, what I will do uh, to show you guys how this works is I'll take the clothes off. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all knew it was going to happen. Okay, it was going to happen eventually. So, here we are. This is our character. My complaint was that we don't really get much control over the weight of the character. We don't get much control over the size of the body. Uh, you can see by the pictures here, everything's pretty skinny. You can make the legs a little bigger. There you go. You can make the waist, uh, stomach, sort of a little, you know, but like, what the heck is this even? <laughs> right? Right? Uh, then you can you can choose basically male or female. Uh, you put your pecs in, then you keep sliding, 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 then suddenly there's a sports bra. Then you keep sliding, 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 then boom, it's a bra. I think, you know, that's about as far as you're going to go, uh, right? You, I'm assuming you're making a young character, okay? And the character is not overweight. The character looks like this. That's my assumption. So I, I called it a complaint. It's not really a complaint. It's a criticism uh, that you should maybe try and cater to a few more body types, not just the rectangle body type, whatever this is, <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> it's not a natural looking body right now. That's the only complaint I have. The last option here is the... Well, whatever this is, it, I, it's technically it's the pelvis, but I'm not really sure what it's doing when I move this around. <laughs> so the, this is like the, the one part of this system that I just feel is not so great, right? I just, I just, I'm not sure what's going on with this shape here. Uh, but, but yeah, for the rest of it, it's like, it's okay, you know, it's fine. That's the options for the body. That's it. A little disappointing, but it's, you know. It's cool. Once you put something on here, then it looks a little better. That said, uh, we've now chosen to put some boobs on, right? So I'm going to take them to the middle now. So we are sort of uh, right there, slap bang in unknown territory. And that's okay. Now we can look at some outfits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go pastel colors because I kind of like them. And I'm going to put three different colors on here. And then you guys can just sort of watch where they are. So we've got white. We've got a... Well, this, this, let's take a slightly darker blue, okay? So we've got the red, we've got the darker blue here, and we've got the white, right? So now you'll see the different zones as we go through here, where, where those customization zones are. This one, as an example, has all three. Yeah, my character's looking a little stiff. <laughs> That's the full outfits. Now we got tops. That takes the outfit off when I put this on. And again, uh, let's just change these colors again. Let's just put the same ones on. It's, it's, I know it's a horrific choice. I'm sorry. I know. It's not stylish. I get that. Okay. But I'm trying to show you where the different zones are that you can color. So it gives you an idea of what you can do with all of this. Decent selection here. Just know that as you are jumping in, there is more in the game that you can do. And, uh, you know, this is just the beginning. This is where you are setting your character up for the first time. Uh, they give you a, a reasonably fantastic selection here, actually. And you can do some cool stuff with all the different color combinations. That's just, that's the reason I showed you guys the color stuff at the start. Because there is just so much you can do with it. And there's so much you can imagine knowing how it works. Right? Right. 
Those are the tops. Let's put a... I like the vest. There you go. Let's put that on. Then let's go down for the pants. The bottoms. I should probably change the color zones again. Uh, let's do a black. Let's do a yellow. And let's do a white. There you go. That's actually far more stylish than the previous one. Okay. Yep, I take full credit for this. Some track suits here. Some shorts. Kind of cool. Got some jeans, I guess. Oh, oh that's kind of sick. That's super stylish, man. I'd definitely take that one. There you go. Fine selection, once again. Fine selection indeed. It's a lot of pants, man. It's just a lot of pants. It's good. I'm actually surprised that there's only this many. But uh, there you go. It's all right. As I mentioned, I will definitely take this one that I liked so much. Uh, where is it? That one. I dig it. Then let's move on to the next part. This is outerwear. It's like a hoodie top kind of jacket thing, whatever. This is sick. Uh, let's go for a black again. Let's go for a yellow again. No, the white on this one. And then the yellow on this one. There you go. Super stylish, man. That's it. That's me. That's me in my trench coat. Oh, yeah, the hoodie. Okay. Cool. More hoodies. Wow. This is simple. This is the hoodie my wife doesn't like. This is the hoodie she does like. <laughs> so she can gremlin her hands into the little pocket. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Glad they got her covered. Okay, this is kind of nice. There you go. These jackets are cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with this one. Mm, yeah, we go with this one. Okay. Again, keep in mind there's a lot of color options. Shoes! Some nice boots. You don't want to go too long on the boots if you've got your leg torn off on purpose, you know. Uh, for the color zones, sorry, let's do the color zones quickly. But let's go for the same. We'll go for black. We'll go for yellow. We'll go for white. Oh, there we go. Yellow soles. Have you ever? I haven't. Ha. Huh. Yeah, those are the best ones. And then you got like a... Ridiculous selection? No, oh, it's only two. I thought it was a ridiculous selection of uh, <laughs> flip-flops here, of sandals. All right. Decent shoes, man. Decent shoes. I like these ones the most. I'm taking them. And then our final stop is actually going to need us to take this off because it's the uh, accessories. Let's see. So this is stockings, as you can see over there. It's a stocking. You can change the color of it. Uh, I guess I should take the pants off for this so you can see it. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's like it's a little like it's a little lacy if you if you set it up right. I'm not sure if making it black is the best idea just based on how it looks there. Uh, and this is just socks, I think. Yeah, it's just socks. So if I take the shoes off, there you go. <laughs> okay, it's a little weird. The toe socks. Put the shoes back on. No one asked for that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there you go. Then you have some accessories on the arms. Uh, it's over here. I'm just going to put some colors on them for you quickly. There you go. It's a ring. It's another ring. It's another ring. It's another ring. It's a watch. A different watch and another different watch. And then you can put another one on the other side. So we can wear two watches. <laughs> Why not? And that actually brings us to the end. Sorry, I'm having a lot of fun with this, actually. Uh, that brings us to the end. And now comes the coolest part. Randomization. This is randomize everything. It's going to show you what this system is capable of. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. What I'm actually going to do for this is I'm going to zoom in on the face first. We're going to randomize the face a little bit. You will see all the different stuff you can do here. It is kind of sick. Um, it's a fine, fine, fine selection. It's a good way to see what it's capable of, what it can do, uh, the different combinations that you can go for, the different beautiful characters you can make, uh, the different hideous amalgamations it can throw at you. Like this is, for instance, kind of interesting. I, I feel like this whole thing... Why did I not see that shirt? Hold on just a second. <laughs> where, where exactly is that shirt? Is it because I... It's not here. Where's that shirt? 
It's showing me stuff that's not in here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I guess keep in mind that you might get stuff in here that's not here. Uh, that's really cool. Okay. It's not in here. I was about to say, like, that's not something I looked at. I know what I looked at. Hold on. Hold on. I Maybe I should report this as a bug. Yeah, we're actually getting stuff that's not here. Huh. I, I will, I'll report it to them. It's all good. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, you guys are here to help me find it. Uh, let's zoom in on the face again quickly, because this is the most interesting part for now. My god, look at that. Those are real bugs. So you're getting a bit of a look at what's available in the game as well. It's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. There are a lot of cool combinations that you can throw together. And to be honest, I am thoroughly impressed by this. I mean, for an indie game, I mean, for a game that is sort of, I want to say, lesser known, uh, the idea of having so many different options here and the idea of pulling off like a, a really cool anime look is fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, I really like it. I'm a big fan. Uh, you will notice that the randomization is actually kind of smart with the way it does things, but at the same time, uh, you will not see beards pop up here. You will not see a, a lot of the mustaches and stuff. They are... They sort of a little on the lenient side with that, and it's good because otherwise, if they were rolling beards every time, then you would be having beards on basically every character, even the ladies. So it's it's kind of nice. You, you it pops up like very rarely. Uh, just know that you can do some really cool stuff with the beards and the facial hair as well. All right? There's one. Finally, <laughs> finally, and that wasn't even a very nice looking beard. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So as you can see. Very cool selection, lots of cool characters you can make, and honestly, overall, I am actually just a big fan of what I've seen. And and this is something that I knew nothing about. I'd never seen this game before. I didn't know it even existed, uh, and here it is. I like it. Yeah, I'm impressed. I, I don't have very many complaints other than the body shape, but again, that's not really a complaint if they want you to be this character right here. If they want to be want you to be a certain age, and in a certain sort of demographic, I understand that. You know, I understand that. Uh, so, yeah. Overall, I'm impressed, and I and I enjoyed it. So, if any of you guys have anything to say about it, like it, don't like it, favorites, uh, least favorites, please leave a comment. Let me know. You can, as always, find my links below, my coffee page, my Twitch channel, if you want to check those out, or if you want to throw money at me. And uh, yeah, give this video a like, share it. Do all that other good stuff. Most importantly, happy making those characters, dudes. Happy that.